one experimental evidence for light be, uh, being a wave is diffraction. Diffraction refers to bending of waves when they pass through a barrier. So, like, if you were to pass light through a slit, a very narrow slit, okay, uh, you'll find this pattern right here. This is a single slit diffraction pattern. So, right here, you have a very high intensity in the right way where the slit is around. So, if you were to have a screen back here, your light's going to be very bright over here, right? Now, normally, you would expect... Okay, if you were just have to throw, um, let's say, let's say you have that hole right there, and you were just going to throw sand across that, okay? You would expect it would be, yeah, it, that the distribution would be something like this, right? It would be, uh, most of the sand is going to hit right around here, and then it's going to taper off to the sides, right? So you, you do see that tapering off, but you'll notice that there's this pat pattern right here. Okay, and that's called a diffraction pattern. And that's, uh, so it just doesn't no taper off uh, monotonically, right? So it goes to zero and then it goes back up a little bit and then it goes back down to zero and so on. So that's called a diffraction pattern. So you see these dark spots right here and then it becomes bright again and then it gets dark again, okay? That can, can only be explained by thinking of light as a wave, okay? So that's evidence for wave behavior. And the way you interpret that is when you get to these dark spots right here, that's, those are spots where when the, height, when the wave hits that spot, you have what's called destructive interference. So if you have a wave emanating from here and another wave coming off from here, and they, when they hit this point right here, if they destructively interfere, then you hit a, hit a dark spot, okay? And so that's, that's how you explain diffraction. And when you get these very bright spots, that's where you have what's called constructive interference.